I've just been reading Fox News regarding a story here. The story being Fox News poll majority believes the COVID-19 leaked from a lab in China. So I'll go over to YouTube and type in, as you can see there, COVID-19 lab leak. And I got the most recent, and this is from The Economist. Right there. Questioning about the lab leak, which I believe it came from there. So I add a comment, and I can read it out to you. And that comment is, and the reason I'm reading it out to you is because YouTube have blocked this comment. Even though you can see it here, that's because I'm logged in. But when I go to a browser that I'm not logged in at, there we go, let's sort my newest first. There we go. I'm nowhere to be seen. Nowhere. So YouTube are automatically blocking my free speech and my opinion on the Wuhan bio warfare lab virus. Okay, here goes. No one is asking the right questions. One, obtain the Wuhan General Hospital admissions log from August 2019 to December 2019 and full disclosure of all the symptoms of those that were admitted and all data on the hospital morgue. Two, obtain the Google satellite imagery data on the massive amount of vehicle movement at the Wuhan General Hospital in August 2019. Three, question every nurse and doctor and other staff at the Wuhan General Hospital who were working from August 2019 to December 2019 and obtain statements as to what was going on at the WGH, as hospital, during those dates. Five, Obtain all of the incoming and outgoing tel telephone conversations from the WGH during that same time period. 6. Obtain the names and all cell phone data from all staff from the CEO down to the janitor at the Wuhan Bio Lab during the same period August 2019 to December 2019. These are the questions that will never be answered because all of this data has been deleted by the CCP. I firmly believe that the Wuhan Bio Warfare Lab created this virus and it accidentally leaked onto an employee who in turn has murdered 612,000 Americans. There are some 5,000 plus patents on the SARS-2 virus dating back to, 20, to, to 2005. And that can be checked. Just go to the, the patent office, pto.gov. And lastly, is there anyone out there with a set of balls that can get these questions answered for me? No, because you're not going to be able to read my comments. Let me just go back to the browser where I'm not logged in to YouTube. As you can see, it's asking me to sign in. Now, I've left other comments on other motorcycle vlogs and that sort of thing and they've been visible so let's sort by newest first nothing seven minutes ago is the most Looking recent smart solutions and mine was time. about five minutes ago if that the new agilent 58 and so they are youtube once again blocking free speech in fact that's illegal because i'm in florida and the governor of florida has told YouTube to stop censoring people. They've got no right to do that. What we can put up on YouTube and what we can't put up on YouTube. So, who owns YouTube? Do the CCP own YouTube? Why isn't that comment that I just left, see it says zero seconds ago, it just won't register it. We just refresh the page. It's one of the biggest global catastrophes. And by the way, I'm on the brave.com browser. I don't get any adverts, none. It's got an ad blocker. Zero adverts on YouTube. 
All right, so that's saying seven minutes ago. And I'm logged in to YouTube on this browser, brave.com. And I go back over to Firefox where I'm not logged in. As you can see, it's saying sign in. Let's refresh that page. So obviously what I'm going to do is put this video up on YouTube. I don't care if only 10 people see it. So let's go newest first. Sort by newest first. There you go. Nine minutes ago. So my seven minutes ago, 24 minutes ago, see nothing. YouTube, you bastards, blocking free speech. And I'm going to do something about it because I'm going to upload this video in about 20 seconds.